Howdy folks, Jake here with the Banjo Bend General Store, and today I've got a video for you I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. Uh, some of you may notice, and others may not, but what I have <laughs> shouldered here is a legendary Calton case. Now for those of you who don't know, forgive the bug noise and me swatting, I've got mosquitoes after me like crazy. Uh, we're going to test this case today, so we'll see if it's mosquito proof too. Oh, there's a big one. But anyway, for those of you who don't know, Calton is legendary for making cases to protect your instruments. Uh, the type of people that would use a Calton would be a professional who tours all over the place and wants the very best protection on the airlines and all that kind of stuff. And also for anyone who just has an expensive instrument or an heirloom that they want to protect. Now, a Calton isn't cheap, but the kinds of stories I've heard over the years, stories like people roll in their cars and their Calton case with an instrument inside gets ejected and then the case rolls over it and the instrument survives. And another one that I heard was uh, there was an actual professional touring band. You'd probably know who it was, but I'm going to leave his name out of it. Uh, they were going down the road and their bus caught fire, the engine. And the compartment, like the storage compartment, was over the engine, and it burned up everyone's instruments except the one guy who had his in a Calton case. So we're going to put some of those to the test. We'll start off with some practical tests that will just be kind of everyday kind of things that might happen. And then we'll probably move into some not-so-practical ones, too. So stay tuned. We'll kind of explain what we're going to do test-wise, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, folks, so what we're going to do is I've got an old gourd banjo that I've had laying around here for a long time. And for our purposes here, let's just call him Gordy. We'll give him an official name. That way we have some attachment to him, and we're going to really be rooting for him to survive this test. So old Gordy here is just an old gourd banjo, like a Civil War type. Um, he's got a little bit of heft to him. I'd say he's about four or five pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. So while not really the weight of a master tone style or a full weighted tone ring style banjo, which is what this case is made for, uh, I think it'll still serve our test well because this banjo is more fragile too. Uh, a well-made master tone style banjo is gonna give you a lot more durability. It's gonna be a lot easier to crack this gourd or to break its little non-reinforced thin pine neck there. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put old Gordy in the case and button them up. And then we're gonna run some tests on them. So the first tests that I wanna do are more practical tests. Um, what I've seen happen with a lot of normal cases is if they're dropped like so, where they, they fall, uh, that can, even just something as simple as that, in a case that's not made as well, can cause the headstock to do this whiplash movement, and it can break the headstock clean off the instrument. So we're gonna do some kind of practical tests like that. Um, we're on some pretty hard ground here. This actually used to be a driveway years ago. So we do have a little grass. We'll, we'll try some different surfaces, but for now, for the practical tests, I think this will serve us well. So let's just knock old Gordy around a bit and see how he fares. Let's drop him from a little bit higher and see how he does. Let's flip him over. Let's drop him on his face. <laughs> this is too much fun, folks. Let's give him a little toss. <gasps> yeah. All right. I'll tell you what, for good measure, now you'd have to know me, I'm about six foot six, 275 pounds, somewhere, nearly 300 pounds. So uh, I'm just gonna jump on it. <sighs> now I can tell you, any other case that I would try this with would have been crushed on that first jump. <laughs> they don't survive things like this. 300 pound man jumping on your banjo. All right, good deal. Let's check and see if Gordy, uh, Gordy's still alive. And like I said, I'm, I'm regretful I don't have a original five string Gibson master tone to try this on, but Gordy's just gonna have to do. I bet he's okay in there. Yeah. All right, 
Let's see if we broke the neck. Nope, everything's good. No cracks in the gourd. Gordy looks as good as he did the, brought, the day I brought him home, but that's not saying much, but he's still as healthy as he ever was. Let's try some more radical things. Okay, we got old Gordy cased up again. This time I actually moved down to the driveway, which is about as packed and solid earth as we can find around here. And uh, I'm gonna do some serious inertia testing on them. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam them pretty hard, just like if I was in the WWE. So we're gonna pretend to be Hulk Hogan here for a little while. Now, I did put a piece of cardboard down. That's not gonna absorb hardly any. It's, it's a real thin piece. Um, so that won't play too much of a factor. I just did that to keep the rocks from skinning the case up too much because after we're done with this, we are going to offer this case for sale at a heavy discount. So be looking for that. All right. So we're just going to, we're just going to go for it and see if we can break this banjo. <laughs> Here we go. Now keep in mind, this is not a realistic test. You would never intentionally do this. Dropping it's one thing, body slamming it's something else. All right. Gordy, I hope you're okay in there, old buddy. Let's see how he is. Oh, I forgot a latch. I'll be daggummed he's still alive. I can't believe it. That was that was pretty tough. Let's see if we can let's see if we can hurt him. We're gonna keep trying to hurt him. Okay, next up, we're gonna do what I call the airline test, which is just tossing this thing just like I was throwing it from one guy to the other down the line to get it loaded up on the plane for you. Uh, except the other guy's gonna miss, which sometimes happens. He's not gonna catch it. And it's probably gonna land funny and um, We'll just see how that goes. Uh, so far, everything's been kind of direct the way it's landed. I imagine this will land weird. So that's why we're doing this and we're gonna chunk it a long way, so. Yeah, that landed pretty bad, actually. I was expecting it to land on the headstock. We may do another one, assuming that Gordy's still alive. We may do another one and see if we can get it to land more on the headstock. Forget that latch in the middle. <clears throat> yeah, old Gordy's still alive. Not too shabby, old Gordy. I did lose the bridge on him on that one. The bridge fell off, but there was no damage to the resonator or the neck. So we'll try again. Okay, we're gonna do the airline toss take two. I'm gonna to try to make it land more like this. On the first one, it got bottom heavy, went like that. So we're gonna to try to kind of balance the test out, see how it fares if it lands on the nose. Here we go. Uh, that's about right. <laughs> All right. Let's see how old Gordy's doing. I think he's gonna need a day at the spa after all this. It's gonna have banjo PTSD. So. Yeah, amazingly, he's still in good shape and the bridge even stayed on him that time. It's incredible. I've got a test that I think can do him in though. Let's see what we can do. Just think, folks, I get paid for doing this. So, oh, let's see what we got going on. I, I was trying to kill it, so let's, let's take a look. Can you see okay here in the light? Let's 
see what kind of damage we got. latch okay so I did break the banjo on that one which is to be expected I was running a solid 35 miles an hour in a Toyota and you know when it comes down to Toyota versus anything the Toyota the Toyota isn't gonna break so and actually no I didn't if we look that over I broke the glue joint loose but the way this was made, yeah, I bought this at a flea market years ago. There were several screws in here to keep this from pivoting. But that one screw in there is pivoting. But even at that, it just broke the glue joint. It actually didn't break the banjo at all. Now that's pretty incredible. I would not have guessed that. Um, let's, check, let's check out the case and see what the case looks like. little worse for wear. See the lid still closes good. All the latches look good. Looks like we lost one latch here somewhere. We'll look around and see if we can find it. Overall the case looks nice. I do have uh, in this top layer, if you look here in the fiberglass, I've got some where I smacked it with a ow, with a steel bumper of my truck. That's a lesson too, folks. Whenever you see something rough, don't go to rubbing on it. That's stupid. <laughs> but I mean, it still looks really tough. It just looks like I chipped that outer layer. Yeah, it's still totally serviceable. So we'll get it and wash it off and uh, see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, well, after kind of assessing some of the collateral damage of that truck test, I'm even more impressed. Aside from a little bit of uh, fiberglass on my bumper, which is actually just from this outer shell, what I'd call the finish layer. Um, you know, put a crack in that finish layer. Uh, it's still very structural though. I mean, you can't even push on that and get it to move. So we're gonna just chalk that up as a cosmetic issue. Um, but I got to look at, I think, remember this back buckle, the top latch come off, which I actually found the latch, uh, it just kind of sheared the rivets. So that could be reattached, no problem. Uh, but I had the banjo standing on the case in the stand to hold it up when I hit it with the truck. And this is a steel stand. I mean, this is a heavy duty stand. And that case, by the truck hitting it and driving it through the stand, just demolished this thing. It put a big crook in it here. Try to get it where you can see it in the camera. It literally busted the, the uh, back strap. And then this steel disc that hinges the whole thing together is just all kinds of contorted. It just put it plumb out of plumb, so to speak. So um, the, the more I look at it, and like I said, the banjo itself survived. Uh, that glue joint broke loose, but I mean, that could have happened anyway under many different circumstances as, as shoddily as that, that glue joint was done in the first place. So uh, man, the more I look at it, the more impressed I am. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a bath now. All right, folks, we're gonna wrap it up here, give our Calton case a bath and test its waterproof technology as well. It's got this real nice rubber seal all the way around it. So we'll see how well that works. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. It's been a lot of fun. So let's get it wet, clean it off and see what it's gonna look like. <laughs> we're simulating a hurricane here. Let's grab it. Oh no, it doesn't look too worse for wear. All right. She almost looks like a new one. Got a couple minor nicks and dings, but not too bad. Now let's see if old Gordy's still safe and dry. See if he weathered the storm, air quotes. 
Oh yeah, there he is in all his glory. Looky there. Well, I think despite our best efforts, it's just hard to kill anything in a Calton case. So we appreciate you watching folks. Like always, we appreciate the support. Hopefully you can take something away from this. It's far less than scientific, but I do think it, it proves how well the cases hold up. So we appreciate it. Thanks for watching.